Hi, everybody. This is take two of my travel journals. <laughs> I already took the seam binding off this one, but um, they're all Easy B um, templates that I used for these journals. So if you know Izzy, um, you'll recognize these. Um, she has a little tag in the front, put a little journal stamp, um, travel stamp on it, little bird, and um, the inside has an envelope. And inside, there's plenty of room inside because there's hinges on that envelope. And I made a couple of journey cards. This one has some stitching on it and it's all tea stained. So those go in there. And this ties up. These were a lot of fun to make. I love the way they came out. It's got some tea stained paper. They're all very similar inside using the same papers. This is from a botanical book. And I folded it up with some um, tags in there, There's a little map tag, and this one has a little token quote in it. All have blanks on the back for writing. I did some collaging, little Tim Holtz stamp. The dog wants my attention, so we're going to try to ignore him. There's a little tuck spot with a little journaling card I collaged on the back. Some craft paper, some grid paper, an old book page. Um, this has a little airplane stamp. These are from um, antique um, paper, antique papier or something like that. This is an airmail envelope. And um, put a little journaling card in there. And there's some collaging on the back. I made a little homemade stamp down there. You can see it. <laughs> it came out so cute. Those were so fun to make. Did a little stamping here. Little map page. Another map page. This one is a little folder. Has a couple little journaling cards. A flash card. Um, this has a little pocket with a little homemade journaling card that I collaged on. Tiny little postcard. And a little piece of ephemera. And those fit in there. This is the center. This is a traveler's notebook size. So it should fit in your traveler's notebook nicely. A little stamping. This has a little paper pad. This is the back of the envelope. It has a little journaling card in there. This is a little postcard, um, map journaling card that I made. This is an old computer card. And those tuck right in there. Um, this is the back of all the pages. This has a little tuck spot. Little um, library card. And there's the craft paper. So I know that if I was retired, this would be the time of year I would be traveling. Little postcard. This is a little map page. Um, it opens up for journaling space. Just tuck right in there. Little tuck spot. There's the back of the botanical. And then this is the envelope on the back, which also has some journaling cards in them. Let's see. This one has a couple little ones. This is the one I made. Some stitching on it. And then those fit right back in there. And, and that's the back cover. And I just used some seam binding, wraps around twice with a little bow to keep these shut. Um, there are three. So the first one has a bird. The second one um, is a little matte page. I'll show you real quick inside. They're um, 
all, like I said, very similar. So this has a little tag with a globe on it. Um, so this is the um, envelope on this one. The insides are very similar, as you could see. I used the same type of ephemera inside. Um, some of them are a little different than others, but generally the same. Um, this is the folder in this one. This one has a little um, Tim Holtz clip. I'll actually put that on all three of them with one of these. This is, um, it holds a, one of those instant cameras. It's a little frame for one of those instant camera shots. So I thought that was a fun little thing to include. So on this one, the folder is there. It's got a bunch of little ephemera, a little postcard back there, a little burlap collage. This one has this pretty airmail paper in it. Um, this one, they all actually have this too. It's a little, um, has little tiny papers in it, little tea stained scrap papers that I put in there for little notes. And that tucks in there. There's a bingo card and a sweet little map card. I love these. I love the um, eyelets, I think they're called. So very similar, all of them, as you can see. A um, little tuck spot, and then there's the back envelope. And the last one is um, also a mat. There's your little um, um, little tag in the front. It's got a little stamp on it. And this is what the um, envelope looks like on this one. The inside, again, is very similar. And just a few different papers in them, but generally about the same type of look about them. Same number of pages in all of them. I'll make sure that um, this is where the map, the map one is on this one. Uh, I'll make sure that all of them have one of those little Tim Holtz clips with the um, holding the uh, photo frame in it. There's the little uh, folder in this one. These have two little tags in there. Lots of stamping and stitching. These were a lot of fun to make and I love Izzy's templates. They make it all so much easier to plan out. Um, this one actually does have it. I think it's just the first one that I didn't have it in. I'll have to add it to the first one. Yep. So that's the back envelope. Also with the same type of tags inside. I'll just give you a quick glance at those. So, those in there. So, and that's the three of them. So this one has a little bit of a blue um, tone to it. This one is more of like um, browns and this one is a little more feminine. It has um, a little bird and some pretty uh, wallpaper design on there. So I hope you love them. Happy travels. Bye.